And now greetings to uh, our great partner from Barnaul Altai, uh, Madam Bukate Lubov Pavlovna. Bukate Lubov Pavlovna, candidate of biological sciences, head of Altai Regional Public Research Organization Institute of Spiritual Vision and Worldview Positions, Russia Barnaul. The Theosophical Keys of Helena Blavatsky to the Improvement of Modern Society. I would like to thank the organizers of the Congress for the opportunity to present the experience of Altai representatives. Alta is one of the centers of spiritual development, as pointed out by Rurik, and that of our institution, the Alta Regional Public Research Organization, Institute of Spiritual Vision and Worldviews. This organization was founded 25 years ago. Realizing the scale and severity of the problem, in my speech, I will focus on the theoretical comprehension of Blavatsky's keys to understanding theosophy, and I will also give a brief overview of our institute's activities. The purpose of my presentation is to demonstrate the profundity of the guiding action of certain theosophical keys found in Blavatsky's theory and their high relevance today as spiritual guidelines of modern society in conditions of extreme uncertainty and the search of a new harmony. Helena Blavatsky, in the preface to her book, The Key to Theosophy, explains that it, it is the book, gives the key to unlock the door that leads to a deeper study. And today, it is quite evident that not even every year, but every hour, the problems that previously sounded as a warning are becoming more and more apparent. They are growing and affecting the human being and the whole cultural sector, changing the world spiritually and physically. In this regard, it is important for us and our contemporaries to be conscious of the higher laws of interaction between the subtle and dense world. I would like to quote Helena Blavatsky. Theosophy has several goals, but the most important of them are those that lead to the relief of human suffering in any form, moral as well as physical. And we believe that the first is much more important than the second. The assertion of the dominance of the spiritual world over the physical, material world to be considered to be the first key to understanding the essential features of theosophy in general, as well as the special holistic theosophical view of the world. We also find this idea in many different teachings. Humanity, I quote, already realizes that all occurrences are not accidental. The time for the construction of a culture of the spirit is at hand, wrote Nikolai Rurik. Despite the vast spiritual heritage left by our ancestors, the attitude of the modern society to the spiritual processes that take place in our world is still in the realm of doubt. The staff of our institute is convinced that the spiritual and moral self-development of the individual, based on the works by Helena Blavatsky and Nikolai and Helena Rurik, can lead society out of the ideological crisis. Their works, they form the basis of the Institute's spiritual, educational and health improving activities, provided in various forms 
and for different audiences. Combination with other scientific, philosophical, and spiritual writings, their works became the basis for the construction of their own method and a systemic holistic program. Culture of the people is the health of society. One of the directions of the Institute's scientific activity was the study of the connection between emotional and mental states of a person and his spiritual and energetic structures. One of the Institute's employees, Mikhail Chaban, made a significant and contribution to this research. He passed away at a young age, but he managed to write a book on the influence of information fields on human health. It is a creative synthesis of fundamental laws of physics, biology, and philosophical teachings of the Rurik family. I strive to demonstrate the necessity of mastering the culture of thinking and observing moral norms for a healthy and full human life. Based on the interdisciplinary integration of scientific theories, Chaban proved that the disease is based on the damage caused to the mental sphere of being, which is commonly called the soul. He, as a scientist, physicist, explained that this kind of damage may occur due to the local laws that are formed by the large-scale structure of the universe. Most of all, Mikhail Alexandrovich was interested in the issue of the correlation of human thoughts and feelings with the outer space that surrounds him and uh, with his health. Here is what he wrote about it himself. The search for the causes of the disease at the deepest level will enable self-healing due to the reserve forces of the body, taking medications, a person introduces matter fields into his body, but they can also be created using quanta of consciousness excitation, which means that a person is able to produce medical substances in himself by the work of his consciousness. In essence, we are trying to explain the principle of operation of the second signal system from the point of view of quantum field physics. Quantum excitations of consciousness are determined by the moral qualities of the spirit. The possibility of synthesizing medical substances is directly related to a person's morality. Psycho-correlative fields have magnetic and moral components. The work the Institute staff annually organized and conducted scientific and practical conferences and seminars on the problems of the formation of the spirit and body and their mutual influence. Among them are ways of forming the inner culture of a person in the field of modern education, 2006, the problem of consciousness and its spiritual evolution, 2008, mental energy and health, 2009, thought is a creative and destructive energy theory and practice, 2010, spirituality and health, 2011, from worldviews to spiritual vision, 2012, the creative heritage of the Rurik family and the aspect of modernity, 2013, and the others. Today, it is important for a person to understand the laws of the world. While only the whole can be understood, the part does not have the fullness of meaning. The works by Blavatsky and the Rurik family open up cosmic horizons, including the physical and subtle worlds, where the understanding of the world 
is enriched with spiritual meanings. At the same time, the characteristics of the subtle world are distinctive and different from the traditional characteristics of our reality to such an extent that they require the involvement of additional scientific knowledge, which is what the scientific activity of our institute is aimed at. I would like to point out that one of our main aims is uh, using our mental energy in practice in our everyday activities. Don't be late with using it. The method of spiritual self-regulation proves that our uh, method can be used to solve health problems. It, this method has received its name due to the fact that it was designed for independent use by a person to work on his physical, psychological state by redirecting his consciousness to a higher spiritual level. The method of spiritual self-regulation is our spiritual and methodological creation, which we have been practicing for more than 20 years. In our articles, we take different approaches to clearly explain the method's features and its functionality to make sure that the method is correctly understood in all its aspects. A practicing person strives to connect with the higher levels of his consciousness, his spiritual core. In a self-interview, it's his feeling. In connection with this internal work, self-regulation processes occur on the material plane. Real positive changes in the physiological and physical health occur. It is also important to note that for uh, spiritual development, this method makes it possible to see the causes of problems, including health problems, and ways to solve them and prevent them. In the future, it becomes possible for practitioners themselves to help um, to help themselves and their loved ones. The effectiveness of the method of spiritual self-regulation has been repeatedly presented in the scientific works of the Institute's staff. It is important to note that uh, this method became the basis of healthcare activities of our uh, institute. It was used by our staff to help people suffering from complex chronic diseases. Permanent and temporary groups and centers were established. For example, the Health from the Heart Center provided psychological assistance to cancer patients. The Lotus Club provided consultations with a psychiatrist for the relatives of mental patients. A group for psychological rehabilitation of alcohol and drug addicts was also organized. The Harmony Club specialized in treating thyroid diseases under the supervision of an endocrinologist. Such an approach to health improvement based on the problems or simply the interests of a particular person contributes to understanding and expanding human consciousness through acquaintance with ideas about the mutual influence of physical and spiritual processes in human life. This is the basis of the spiritual self-regulation method which yields great results in the physical recovery of a person, in the victory over complex diseases, in which drug treatment does not always lead to a positive effect. Questions related to spiritual life have been discredited in scientific thoughts by adherents of materialism for many centuries. Modernity 
urgently demands their return to the sphere of scientific research, to cultural space, and to the field of moral and aesthetic aspirations of a person. The idea of unity and universality of the connections existing in the entire visible and invisible universe can be considered to be the second key to theosophy and consequently to a complete holistic spiritual understanding of the world order and the essence of man himself. Helena Blavatsky formulated this idea as follows. We affirm that the divine spark in a man, our spiritual individuality, is, in essence, one with the universal spirit and therefore practically omniscient. But it cannot manifest its knowledge because of the limitations of matter. We also find a similar understanding of the world order in the text of the teaching of living ethics. While the whole cosmos, I quote, works for generalization, then why does mankind go against the purpose? Direct correspondences exist throughout the whole cosmos. Mankind contradicts itself and its purpose. In order to at least partially alleviate this established contradiction, the Institute staff, in addition to the traditional treatment and prevention of diseases, have addressed the issues of the formation of a holistic worldview. Within the framework of the spiritual self-regulation method, a new giant spiritual space is invisibly formed and it facilitates understanding. We call this state work in a flow. What is a flow? This is a difficult to express state that arises as a result of successful productive collaboration. People's energy fields unite in a single state of spirit, level of thinking and understanding, acquire a special subtlety of mutual attunement to each other and to the higher world within themselves. This is where spiritual work begins, which unfolds with each person along a completely unique individual trajectory. This work leads to an improvement in the physical health of more than 80% of participants who are seeking help with various problems. This method leads to positive results, as it has been repeatedly confirmed by psychologists, teachers and doctors. Official conclusions on the effectiveness of our method are given by experts in the book by Balakina, Culture of the People is the Health of Society. Year after year, from class to class, seminar listeners, participants of clubs and centers consistently got acquainted with the range of modern knowledge about the world in which a red thread ran through the common thought, a person is an important element of the world. He is deeply rooted in the structure and the system of connections and the level of spiritual culture of a person, the specifics of his spiritual and moral relations to each other, to all the elements of the world, nature, people, oneself. It has an impact on physical and spiritual health, on the quality of life and thinking. Often after classes, seminar leaders or lecturers could hear questions similar to, why didn't we know this before? How differently life could have turned out? The third key of Blavatsky to, to comprehending the higher laws of the world 
was the thesis about the unity of the universe, the analog of which in science can be considered a systemic approach. In fact, we are talking here about the responsibility of a person for each of his actions in the world, since they inevitably change both the person himself and the external space around him. Returning after a certain time with the same impulse back to himself. В деятельности нашего института с самого начала была разработана программа Culture of the People is the Health of Society was developed as part of our institute's activities at the very beginning. This program serves as the basis for all our work. It is universal and therefore can be in demand in any society. It fully corresponds to one of the main tasks that Blavatsky pointed out herself. I'm quoting, our duty is to keep a person in an active state of his spiritual abilities. The main result of our work is that people who have given little thought to their spiritual life or perceived it only externally based on knowledge from literature and television programs are taking a personal part in solving their problems, including the ones of the spiritual level. They are increasing the degree of responsibility for the quality of their inner culture. In conclusion, we have confirmed in practice the profundity of the guiding action of the Theosophical Keys of Helena Blavatsky, as well as the works of the Rurik family, and their high relevance today as spiritual guidelines of modern society in conditions of extreme uncertainty and the search for ways to harmonize society in uh, modern conditions. This is confirmed by the official conclusion of the Commission for the Study of the Experience of our work. The administration of the Altai territory in 1995 confirmed it. A thoughtful and scientific approach to the study of the philosophical doctrine of living ethics and the development of principles for applying its foundations in the daily life of a person and society will not only fill the currently existing spiritual, moral, and ideological vacuum, but it will also give impetus to the revival of the intellectual and cultural traditions of the inhabitants of Altai. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Madam Bukataya, you are a representative of biology and uh, science of uh, life forms and uh, the environment. You've told us about your research and we think that uh, the psychic energy should be uh, uh, accepted as a life and uh, energy that can serve the evolution of consciousness. Thank you so much.